Hello and welcome to Duvo. Let's play City Skylines with me, Bomb Bomb B. I'm Bomb Bomb B. You're very, very welcome. Last week we built the water treatment facility. Almost finished. I figured there's you're probably going to come back to this yet again in a few weeks' time, I imagine. But uh, I wanted to add some more desire lines before we cracked on with today's build. Um, areas where I figured people people would come out of the offices and go and have a have a bag of crisps and a cigarette during their break. Now, uh, we've got the two crosswalks, or the uh, zebra crossings, so we call them in the United Kingdom here, it's so close to each other. I didn't like that so much. We only would really need the one there. And uh, so I've used uh, Ronix's ploppable asphalt to cover those ones up. And uh, then we've got these, these are the bike lane middle lines, I think as came as part of the Mass Transit DLC. And we've got a slow decal there, which is part of McWalshman's collection, as covered last week. Um, yeah, if, if I've used something in the previous week, I may not mention it again, just because there's going to be so many assets to cover um, during the series. But uh, once it's done, I think, I think we can say it's done, yeah? So anyway, the power station. Now, this is on the, the other side of the island. This is where um, we're going to have a lot of industrial down here. We're going to have the um, an oil refinery in this area as well. And um, so, yes, it's going to be disconnected road-wise for another week from the water treatment facility and everything else. So don't worry, the fact that these are disconnected, I will be connecting them all up. It's just we need power and we need water before we can really do anything else. And in vanilla mode, you just plop down some... Uh, some wind turbines wouldn't you and that's it wind turbines and pumping into the river and you can crack on well not me nah no no not not in this build <laughs> now what we're placing here is the um is is i've got a huge list of assets to cover this week um the first and grand power station by light footed i really liked this one i like the textures of it it looks old it looks like it's been around for a while and it kind of fits in with the aesthetic that i've got for this part of the island and alongside it we've got the old cooling tower power plant by find build it's a power plant in itself but uh, it looks like a cooling tower and that's what i'm using it as and then we have got some of the um, these old brick walls. I can't uh, can't find it on my list at the moment, but um, but yeah, these are the brick walls. I, when I find it, I will let you know. <laughs> um, just trying to get these down at the right level using Move It. They're um, they're a network item. Now we've got the pile of coal. Pile of coal by Avania. Avania producing a lot of industrial stuff for us to play with. Uh, she's. She's a blessing to us all, isn't she? Now, um, while we're <laughs> while we're um, leveling out some ground, here, I'm going to try and find that brick wall. I can't find my listing for brick wall, but that's a, that's frustrating. But yes, it, it just look, search for brick wall network or something like that, and uh, I'm sure you'll find it on the workshop. Next up, we've got the generic brick office by Los Gecko. Everything's brick in this area, so I wanted a brick office. And alongside that, I know, strictly speaking, that they're warehouses. The old brick warehouse by Avania. But once again, it fits with the aesthetic. And uh, I'm, you can imagine that there would be extra factory units along here as well. And... Uh, just uh, thought about using some ploppable asphalts to tidy that up, but I've got some. I've got a better idea for that area. So, anyways, um, the uh, the road I'm uh, putting down here is the industrial road. I'm not sure I've got a listing for that to hand. So many things listed down today. It's going to be hard for me to uh, to track them all. So now we've got the entrance. Now we want it as a secure area. So uh, what we'll be using are. Um, are some props and assets to outline the the area with um oh hang on we've got this first this is the power substation v2 mg by mindgot i think that's correct i could be wrong on that one there's uh, so many things to track today going around the outside with that brick wall that i couldn't find earlier now this brick wall wouldn't be enough to keep intruders out and um, I have seen uh, power stations with a double line of security uh, makes a lot of sense in this day and age. So I've decided to line that with, and this came with the Industries DLC I believe, the official Industries fence. 
So, um, or is this the prison fence? No, I like this is the prison fence. And uh, I'm just gonna plop in, I've uh, got a few assets stored separately. Uh, I'm gonna plop in uh, this, this is the parking barriers by Spence. So I'm, I'm, I, it's a bit of a bit of a muddle this week, but it's there's so many assets on my list. I'm, I'm having to tick them off as I go, otherwise I can't find them. <laughs> so anyway, yes, um, we'll, we'll start off uh, with the prison barriers. Here we go, prison barriers across here prison fences just around the outside prison fences because they are high they've got the barbed wire on the top should be really good for the security around the outside of the power station because you really don't want people getting in here not just for the uh, security of the power station but for the security of yourself don't go playing in power stations kids it's dangerous it really is I should know I lost an arm no I'm kidding I didn't really <laughs> That not something you should be joking about, really, is it? Really, no, 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 bon bon. Right. So yes, uh, we've got oh, we've got so many things going into this particular part of the build. Uh, it's the most complex city build I have ever done. I know we're only into part two, but what I've got in mind, um, really, it, it blows away. My, I've not done the build for two years. Of course, the game has come along a lot in the last two years. So many assets and themes and mods. Um, two years ago, I didn't even use a mod. So, um, yeah, for me, this is taking everything to the next level. Just want to uh, try and get these fences to connect up and kind of like look like they're connected. There we go. That's not too bad at all. So, anyway, yes, this parking barrier, this is for me. Um, uh, where you're going to check in and check out. I thought about having a secure gate. You probably saw me playing about of a secure gate at the beginning. I decided against it in the end. I figured that uh, a secure gate wouldn't really be necessary if you're checking people in and out with enough security at the front gate. Uh, it would be 24 hours security, clearly. And this is that brick network. I was trying to get it to connect up. I just didn't want to behave. So I drew the line in the wrong direction. And using move it, obviously, pick the node and uh, move the nodes where I would like them to be. So yes, something like that. So now we've got that double layer that I told you about. And we're going to fill them. Because between the brick wall and the fence, you can't really do much gardening, can you? Because it's completely secured off. So all the way around there, we will be putting the cluster of bushes. I believe that was a Pidalmo thing. There's me still thinking about the secure gate. I just didn't like it in the end. It's one thing about having parking barriers permanently down. I know there is a permanently up version as well, but I'd rather have them permanently down and cars driving through them. But a, a, permanent, a permanent secure gate like that, didn't like it in the end, so it will be gone. Now what you're seeing there are the old French Bollard Versailles by Jez. Very nice these are as well. Um, got a lot of these in my local area and I don't live in France. <laughs> and then I'm trying to decide which road to go with. In the end I will be going with the, the standard, the standard lane, standard road. Just uh, thought just tweaking and it's always a classic is trying to find something that you really like and in the end I settle for this one settle for this one it's gonna have to do something with the uh, line markings which you will see now funnily enough though having saved the game uh, the whole of this area disappeared and I had to redo it so if you uh, notice at a later stage that things aren't quite the same at certainly in the fly through at the end of today's show things aren't quite the same that's because i had to remake them um in in on the fly because you know it's weird it's weird i definitely 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 saved it without doubt so yes um i um, i might redo the line markings again at the end because i I've, i'm happier with the original line markings than i was at the end with the line markings now we're going to see just a few of these standard parking bays plopped in there i thought about adding a disabled bay in there but um in the end it's uh i, I felt it was unnecessary for that particular location now we have got some decals and uh, once again i can't find my my listing for the decal but there is a a grubby old ground decal there which i've done in uh to just like dirtify the uh the ground where there's going to be a load of coal stacked there all the time it's going to be grubby old ground isn't it now grabbing the um 
these bushes. I'm going to go around the outside of the, the area now and pop in the cluster of bushes all the way around the outside between the, the wall and the fence. I'm not going to worry too much about it clipping through the wall and the fence at this point. Less so about the fence because obviously they, it could grow through the fence. But uh, where they're clipping through the wall, I'll just go back and do a little bit of tweaking later on and hopefully sort that one out. Uh, yes, so I'm just having a look at my list, seeing what other bits that we've got to come. Just, um, yes, I just wanted to uh, make this like a small functional power station. And down by the, uh, down by the, what would be the docks and by the, what did I say it was? The oil refinery area, which will be coming. It's not one of my um, urgent priorities. Urgent priority, obviously, I'm going to have to try and get some housing down. I've got to put some housing down. People have got to live somewhere on this particular build. So that'll be the first thing to do once we've uh, connected everything up with some roads. And as with everything, uh, whatever I build, I may go back and change later on, like the, the road networks, which I, I, I've said I probably will do next week. I've got to do some sort of road networking next week. Otherwise, well, nothing's going to get anywhere I'll have a fire and it's just going to be everything's going to burn down before we can do anything about it speaking of fire I did toy with actually putting a small fire station on site in the power station uh, but I figured against it in the end it's it's only a small island anyway uh, small ish island anyway and so having one main or one main fire station and a secondary one nearby um, to the to the power station would be sufficient. Now that little um, that little thing that you saw me pop down a second ago was the I think you'll find that's the Trafo station Trafo station by me ow that little red square blocky thing. And now what I'm popping down is the rural utility line by Baddy Deer. Either that, either that, possibly though it might be. The <laughs> draggable utility poles by Takachi269. It's one or the other. I'm not sure which. I've written down both. I played with one. I played with the other. I don't remember which one I settled for in the end. So yes, um, I'll make a listing for both. Draggable utility poles by Takachi269 and rural utility line by Baddy Deer. I think it might have been the Baddy Deer one in the end. I'm just going to connect the line up here and for some reason the line is leaving the, p the post behind so I don't know we'll just we'll, we'll fix it by deleting it and just rebuilding it in there there we go that's much better so now the uh, water treatment facility has electricity yes finally they will stop complaining which means now we've just got to make sure that water is being fed to the power station. I don't remember if I recorded myself doing that, but I did indeed by the end of the episode uh, incorporate pipes all the way down to the power station. Right, and now the final bits and pieces. A little bit of detailing here. We've got, um, I wanted to uh, put in a ramp of some description here, but I don't have procedural objects, so I figured... Well, we'll just draw a road straight in into the pile of coal and you can see the uh, where the tracks would just reverse in and pile it in and then we've got here this is the t170 bulldozer by kazooey or kazoo maybe um and then we've got the uh front loader prop by trash panda and the uh, dump truck prop by avania as well right there and there I uh, just want to make that like, look like a proper working area. Of course, nothing's going to be, actually be used in this area. So there, I'm quite happy for those props just to be sat there, looking like it's a busy little area there. And now we put in, um, what was it next? Uh, some more parking. This is going back to the parking lots by Baddy Deer again, as covered last week. So uh, we'll be doing a little bit of that. And then we've got this. This is the small industrial unit by Star Shawl 96. Quite like this one. Once again, I know it's an industrial unit, but it does kind of fit with the whole power station kind of vibe to it. Looks like a side entrance to the warehouses that we popped down earlier as well. I think it all kind of works together. I do like that. Um, 
probably will do a little bit more detailing at the front of this unit at some point but for now we'll be just be using the hatched marking to part two by beard monkey those yellow lines will do um for now for now may come back and like i say tidy things up a little bit more and add a bit more interest a bit later on as well so yes so that's me seeing if i could do something with the hatch lines i've decided to, in the end leave it for that leave it like that for now of course so almost done now putting the parking bays into the parking lots we'll have some um disabled bays in this this is like the public parking area for want of a better phrase and um have these down nearest to the offices because um if you're disabled you don't want to be uh you know wheeling yourself or limping heavily I know there are other sorts of dis disabilities, don't worry. Um, I figured just about there would be fine. Okay, I think we're getting close towards the end of the episode. <sighs> this, one, this one took me a long time. Oh, these are the, uh, these are the industrial uh, fences that I mentioned earlier. And um, yeah, these are uh, just to block off these areas. This is an exact match for what's down already. So that works nicely. And then off camera, I have popped in some CCTV as well, which um, I, I did uh, some, some last minute tweaking here and there as well, just to get things right. Oh, and finally, the utility outbuilding too by Spence. This little one here, once again, I figured it just fitted really nicely in with the, uh, the overall aesthetic for the power plant. And that's pretty much it. I might do a little bit more prop detailing at some point. But overall, I'm quite happy with that. And if we don't do anything more to it, I can I can live with that, you know. And so on to the cinematics. For one of a better word, this is uh, just driving along at road level cinematics. So, yes, thanks very much for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. Uh, join me next week where we'll be doing some, some of the roads and probably some garbage solutions like a waste treatment area as well. Just we can't just that. There's some uh, CCTV on the right, by the way. So point that one out as we're coming down this way. Um, for those of you that have watched this as a premiere, thank you very much for joining me today. And for those of you that didn't, I'm going to try and do these Let's Plays as a premiere on a Friday um, can't guarantee it'll come out on the Friday though because priorities are to get um, City Edition and What's Map pumped out on a daily basis and uh, oh, and tutorials and all the other things as well. So yes, um, when I can get this done, I will get this done. But and, you know, if I don't get it out, don't worry. I, I Nothing wrong with me. It's just there aren't enough days in the week and aren't enough hours in the day. But touch wood, Friday next week we will have the road networks going in. Right, that's it from me. As I said, thanks for watching. I've been Bon Bon B, and you've been very, very welcome. <laughs>